A lot of people don't realize that the Tennessee Aquarium isn't just a place where you can go visit a lot of neat fish and penguins and sharks and other fun aquatic animals. In addition, we have a really strong research and conservation program. For the past 10 years, we've been heavily involved with an effort to reintroduce lake sturgeon into the Tennessee River. Lake sturgeon are a very large, prehistoric looking animal. They're covered in really incredible uh, bony scutes. They're not scales, they're actually called scutes along the side of the fish. And they have been extirpated, which means they have not been seen in Tennessee since the 1960s. So these are a large fish that were an important part of our ecosystem here in Tennessee. And sadly, they were fished out of the river just due to overharvest um, and widespread habitat alteration throughout the Tennessee River. So we started looking for a place where we could reintroduce lake sturgeon. And uh, in the 1980s, the Tennessee Valley Authority started changing the way some of the releases from the dams were conducted. They aerated or oxygenated the water before they released it, and they increased the temperature of the releases and set minimum water releases. Because of that, the habitat improved enormously right below dams. And we saw an opportunity where we could work with TVA, the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency, and some other partners to rear lake sturgeon and reintroduce them into the Tennessee River. So for the past nine years, we've had fish uh, at our research facility in Cahutta, Georgia. We have been releasing them throughout that time along with some partners from Fish and Wildlife Service. And this past year, over 50,000 lake sturgeon have been released into the river. That's uh, cumulative releases over the past eight years. This June, we had one of our best releases ever, which was uh, the release of 500 large lake sturgeon. And by large, I mean they varied in size from two pounds all the way up to about 25 pounds. There were some big monsters that got put back in the river. It was very exciting for us because this brought us one step closer to reaching our goal of having a self-sustaining population of lake sturgeon in the Tennessee River. These adults, when they're released, have a much better chance of survival than when we release the smaller fish. And we're pretty confident that in the next five to 10 years, we're gonna start seeing some reproduction and some baby lake sturgeon show up in the Tennessee River all on their own. Having lake sturgeon back in the river doesn't just matter that we have another fish that we have out there that we can catch or another game fish. They're actually a really important part of the ecosystem. Uh, bald eagles and ospreys are known to eat sturgeon. We've actually found a lake sturgeon skull right below an osprey nest in Tennessee. So we know that they're already feeding on something that we've put back in the waters for them. They're also important to smaller fishes that are in the river that may pay, play a key part in the ecosystem for bass or trout or other game fish to, to feed on and eat. So not only have we restored a single species, we've actually made a big step in restoring the entire Tennessee River ecosystem.